Okay, so today is the day, or to this evening is the evening, that um, I'm gonna bring to you a little review, probably one of my first proper reviews as well, of uh, El Septimo cigars. So um, I was sent a few of these cigars to try. I've already smoked one of them, and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it was a fucking beautiful cigar, really, really good. So uh, and there's a bit of controversy surrounding these. Um, I'll talk about that in a little bit. But there is a little bit of controversy, but anyway, it's a bit dark and uh, it's really fucking cold out. So uh, I've had to, you know, take shelter in my car. So but I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna smoke through this and I'm gonna give you a few, uh, a few of my thoughts, let you know what I think. So you will notice if you, I've ever had your hands on one of these, the first thing you'll notice is the construction. Is, it's just a mate. They're, it's gotta be like the, probably the most beautifully constructed cigar I've ever had. In my, you know, when I got my hands on. So this is a little bit larger than the one I've already smoked and I just, I love the way they're tied off at the end and, so anyway, let's cut this up. Very similar to a um, the draw on like a Trinidad a Trinidad uh, Vigia. Very similar to that. I wasn't really sure how to light this light these as well because you know obviously the, the foot of the scar is a little bit of a different thing. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna plow on in straight away. Just while I'm toasting the foot here the smells are incredible huge amount of smoke out but it's got to be said I'm I'm definitely a Cuban snob like I'm definitely uh, I, I do like non-Cubans and I enjoy them and I smoke them but there's really there's a certain little something about Cuban cigars which I don't think other other brands and other other uh, cigars have you know it's just a certain extra something so if you don't know anything about El Septimo cigars, that's cool. They're they're not. Uh, they're, I don't think they're a particularly big brand at the moment. They're you know what you might consider a more boutique brand. But um, so they are owned by a Brit, a Brit from what I understand. Uh, founded in they've been knocking around since 2005. Founded in 2005. The cigars actually are cute. They're not. They're not Cuban cigars. They're they're made in Costa Rica, but um, they are from Cuban seed. So, so uh, on the if you visit the website, they talk about it's Cuban seed, um, and they go on uh, to say about how they feel they cover uh, a lot of bases that other cigar manufacturers tend to um, overlook. So things like construction and. Uh, construction, quality, size, taste, these kinds of things. From first uh, encounters with one of these cigars, you're gonna look at it, They're, they are beautifully made. You know, they look incredible. Uh, the construction is, does look fantastic. You, that you can't fault them on that. And I don't think there's anyone who disagrees with that. So, as you can see, I'm trying to give you an idea, focus. Focus. I'm trying to give you an idea of just how good the construction is, and uh, and uh, you know just on this particular cigar that I'm smoking. This particular cigar is from the Diamond series, and it's the Emerald, and uh, given away with the green wrapper. I hope you see it. It's really dark, and I've had to leave it till quite late to do this review because it was my it's my mum's birthday. I had to go out for my mum's birthday. When I first uh, lit it up, the, f I was, the flavors were huge, massive flavors, almost overpowering. Um, it's got to be said, I am a fan of like uh, you know mellow Cubans, Hoya de Monterey, 
uh, Monte Cristos, um, things like that. So, um, so I'm not massive on hugely strong cigars. Occasionally, I'm in the mood for them, but but you know, not terribly often. But uh, on you know, when I first lit it up, the first few draws were very very full on, but. In my experience, it always you always got to give it until you're halfway, at least till the end of the first third before you you get like the flavour start to mellow. But so right now, really strong, pretty full on. Uh, but I'm going to smoke on through a little bit further and see if I pick up anything. It's got it's got to be worth mentioning. I'm not going to be telling you what flavours I'm getting. I'd like you know I find that quite difficult to do and uh, but definitely big flavors very bold uh, lots of big smells and and so if you're into strong big flavors this is this is definitely your kind of thing good smoke output like a, a, a lot of smoke in there and you can see from the cut that I've made I think that's a pretty modest cut. pretty modest cut um, it's also worth noting that the these cigars are like packed like there's a there's a lot of tobacco there's a lot of tobacco in this cigar um, so you get you do get a lot of bang for your buck that said these are extremely expensive cigars well I say extremely expensive these are on the these are the upper end of the of the price price scale so I'm hoping that you can see me because I keep trying to get a bit of footage and uh, obviously because it's dark and I've taken to my truck to to film it's not focusing but I'm hoping it's focusing you can see how far in I am not far you know about 15 minutes 20 minutes in something like that and it seems to have like evened out a little bit and I'm picking I'm I'm getting a lot more like mellow cigar flavors you know uh, dare I say it like Cuban like it's got to be the most Cuban, non-Cuban I've I've smoked. Got a slightly uneven burn, ever so slightly. But you can see, I hope you can see from the ash that I've got a, a lovely ash on there. And it doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon. And it smells, it smells fantastic. It smells really good. There's no getting around it. These are, it's strong. It's a strong cigar, so, you know, these fl these flavours are strong. So as you can see, I just lost my ash. In my crotch. I thought the ash was hanging on there. I thought it was going to hang off ages and... <laughs> it's all just landed in my lap. <laughs> Never mind. There does seem to be... There does seem to be a little bit of controversy surrounding El Septimo for a couple of reasons, I think. Uh, one would be the price point. Uh, they're not cheap. They're expensive cigars. I think they've got a couple of cigars on in their range that are about £100 each, but uh, or th over £1,000 for a box. Um, another reason is that they don't... Um, if you take a look at their website, which I've linked in the info box below, they don't uh, come in cedar wood boxes. They come in like a Perspex clear plastic box, which I think looks really cool. I think it's quite a unique and cool looking thing. But I think a lot of uh, cigar snobs are um, not really into that idea, you know, it should be done this way, blah, blah, blah. Another thing that people seem to bring up is that you can't, they don't sell singles. They don't sell singles. They only sell by the box. So, if you want to um, try one of these, you have to you have to 
obviously you're either taking a punt on a box or you're um, or you're going to be hunting down a single um, Davidoff cigars in London sell them uh, the place called Kensington cigar shop uh, also sell them by singles so I would recommend picking up singles I don't buy by the box anyway I don't have a humidor big enough yet they seem to be one of those that not a lot of people have picked up on yet so far lots of different flavors going on like it's almost like almost like every draw is a little bit different um, but for such a bold cigar I'm really enjoying it I think it's a really good cigar and I had a similar experience with the with the other cigar that I smoked I'm gonna go out on a limb and try and and try I'm going to go out on a limb and try and give you uh, a little insight into what I'm getting very very floral tobacco um, the kind of thing you would expect from something with a lot of age on it um, I believe it's vintage tobacco anyway so it tastes and smokes like a cigar that's been sitting for for a while it smokes like an aged cigar Granted, my experience with aged cigars is quite limited, but I'm just trying to put you in the ballpark. Construction-wise, these guys really, they can't be touched. The, you know, the, the construction is just amazing. You know, the presentation, the cut, rammed with tobacco, there's so much in there. But, it, these are special cigars man they, they it can't be denied anyone no one could say these were crap no one could say these were bad they they are they are awesome so previously i smoked the uh the short dream topaz and it was a dream it was a fucking awesome cigar I'm getting much of the same with this I'm gonna say that the burn was pretty much perfect on the topaz uh, not so much on this one however that could be my issue because my humidor has been running a, a little bit dry and I've been trying to correct that over the last couple of weeks um, so that could be something to do with mine I've corrected the burn a couple of times but you can see I hope you can see that it's it, it's still evening out. It didn't quite hold the ash for as long as I would have hoped, but yeah, still tons of real, tons of real nice tobacco flavors. Although it's almost like you know when you're if you're when you're not smoking a cigar and you are in a place where someone else is smoking, or if you go into a cigar lounge or a shop and you can you smell that that you know that tobacco that other people when other people are smoking cigars it's almost that kind of thing you get that you get that smell and that vibe from it still very bold but plenty of like smooth chocolatey cocoa bean flavors on on the retro hair it's strong man it's bold it's you know it's it's but really pleasant, not unpleasant. I wish I had daylight. <laughs> this is my only, my only issue with this cigar right now is that it's not beautifully sunny, so that I can really show you the uh, the beauty. But mm. it's 130 millimeters in length and a 60 60 ring gauge, so. Because of the ring gauge, you know you, the drawer is. Because of the ring gauge, um, it's just a it's a lovely cigar to hold and 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 to nurse. If if you're like me, and that's a factor. Probably come to the end of the second third, or the start of the final third, and uh, I've just relit 
just had to relight it. I had to dive out for a second. Um, and definitely like getting a getting a bit more a bit more of a nutty thing going on now. Couldn't tell you which nut. Could be walnuts, could be almonds, I don't But that, that sort of coffee uh, that sort of coffee nutty coffee sort of taste going on. I'm not gonna get too fucking carried away with the uh, with the uh, taste taste I, the, those things. You, you've really got to smoke one of these yourself to find out. So I'm about at the band now. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pop the band off. And the reason I wanted to film this is because uh, the ease of which you remove the band is a big thing for me. <laughs> Obviously smoking Cubans, that glue that they stick the bands on with. So anyway, I'm gonna, I wanna film this. Like We'll see how easy this goes. Oh, what a fucking dream. What a dream. Why can't every cigar manufacturer, why can't every cigar manufacturer make it that easy to get the band off? 10 out of 10, El Septimo on your band adhesive. Still tons of smoke, tons of smoke out. Nice and even burn, still going. Not perfect. Not per. Not not. Not absolutely perfect, but still. Still great. The flavours are really starting to become a bit more acute now, and um, almost. Almost almost fruity. It's almost like a fruity sort of taste you know like um, like deep dark blackberries and for like forest berries and fruits kind kind of thing I'm definitely getting a little bit spicier toward towards the end a box of 25 of this particular cigar the emerald the diamond series emerald will cost you direct from El Septimo will cost you £1,435 for a box of 25. That's a ball crushingly high price tag of £57.50, I think, per cigar. So you're kind of like, I guess that's Cohiba Bahike uh, price. I guess the big question that everyone's, the, the big the big debate is always going to be like, are they worth it? Everyone I've spoken to who's, who's smoked these cigars has... Everyone's given them good reviews. No one said they're crap. No one said they're bad. So I guess it depends on what kind of... What, what your personal... Um, what you personally feel is worth paying for a cigar. Um, and what you can afford. Look. I couldn't afford to smoke these cigars once a week. There is the price is just too high. But are they worth it? That that's a different thing, you know. Are are they fucking worth it? And if you want like top quality, then I guess you got to fucking pay for it, right? I'm gonna go. I would go out on a limb. I I personally would go out on a limb and say that yeah, it fucking is worth it. I think it's always worth keeping one of these in your humidor. It is, it is a treat. It's, it's almost like, I think because of the price point as well, it's almost like you, you're gonna pay a bit more attention to this cigar. You're gonna, you're gonna give it a bit more time and a bit more love. It's not a yardstick, do you know what I mean? You're not gonna smoke it while you're driving to work or some shit like that. And I think sometimes, you know, I'm definitely guilty of, taking cigars for granted a little bit you know just I'm cutting and lighting and smoking a cigar whilst I'm going about about my you know my my business but this is definitely these are definitely a bit more of a sit down and and really take the time to enjoy it sit down with a nice drink you know get the situation get your scenario right if you can if you're a bowler you can afford 
to box the, to buy these by the box and smoke them by the box then they're all down to per personal preference can you that they are fu they're fucking great cigars they're they're fucking great they're awesome cigars definitely one of the best cigars i've ever smoked and the um, topaz before that and i do have another one uh, which is a fucking monster but that anything of this kind of quality and this kind of quality and this kind of attention to detail then you are going to pay that kind of money it's as simple as that and you know you could you could spend 60 quid on a cigar and it'd be shit i'm sure there's i'm sure some of you have had experiences with cigars like that i don't smoke that many very expensive cigars i don't have that much experience with expensive cigars but but this definitely smokes like a high-end cigar definitely tastes like a high-end cigar feels and smells like a high-end cigar and the price point is is just that of a high-end cigar okay I'm wrapping it up now verdict if you can afford them then you should fucking definitely buy them if your local tobacconist doesn't stock them then hassle them to get some in see if they'll see if they'll carry them because if more tobacconists carry them then at least then you have the option to try I think that it's a good idea to experience that to experience it so it's going to give you a good idea of what's out there and person, personally I'm a big big fan I know that people quibble about the price don't be so fucking cheap you know if you every now and then spend the extra money and and just to just to experience them no one I know has said that they don't like them people quibble about the price uh, and that's that seems to be the main factor but everyone should definitely try them I'll link in the info box below shops where you can get hold of them so far um, and you know pick one up you know pick one up and try it and see if you disagree with me but I don't think you will somehow anyway cheers thanks for watching